the exceptions in Python. Uh, exceptions uh, must be handled in Python, Java, this kind of language which are interpreted language because the code is not compiled. So, there might be some unknown issues which must be handled in runtime. These issues um, may not be handled at that time, but it should be handled by your software that is called exceptions. There can be various exceptions like hardware exceptions, like your database connectivity exceptions, your database is not connecting at the runtime with MySQL or this kind of database or networking issues, your internet speed is slow or you will stop. It may be any hardware issues, uh, CPU or RAM that cannot or it may be power issues or it can be other exceptions like the divide by zero errors or you have done certain mistakes. So, all kinds of things can be handled in the exception in this uh, exception might come. Those exceptions should be in the try block and all the exceptions you can expecting you should have separate except block and if no, ex uh, uh, no exception is there then else block it is optional you one can give it or not and this finally is perfect it is also optional but it is better to give that means in any case each this block should be always executed example is like uh, closing a file uh, in any cases any open file should be closed here whenever you're uh, coming out of the system so that should be put in the final block the same example shown it here, it is divided x by y, whenever it is divided by 3 by 2 is ok and uh, uh, you reserve in 1 and when by 3 by 0, you cannot define by 0, so uh, except this clause, this will be handled, this particular line and it will write print, sorry, you are divided by 0. One of the reason of the print here, so you are uh, in a user friendly way you note to your user, your programmer that you have handled. Otherwise some machine uh, python interpreted specific message will come. So that is one of the reason of the friendly exception message. And another thing I must tell you this finally block is optional. I have given example closing the files or I have shown it are more simpler like this will be always executed. So in all these cases here also this is always executed and here also divide by 0 this is always executed. This uh, this is the python uh, uh, try except block and this is the uh, java the except or java it is called try catch syntax is almost similar. Here is try except else finally here also try instead of except this is the catch. Here another way examples exception occur it can be here also it can be uh, handled uh, in between also. So, this is another way to show the control flow. Like here is 18 uh, this is difference between uh, exceptions and syntax error series syntax error this is a syntax error because we forgot to give uh, this if clause and give the colon this is uh, not exception this is we python would not run it because it is uh, whenever well interpreted it will check it and uh, this is uh, this is not an exception this is a syntax error and whenever you correct it it will run so there is difference between syntax error and exceptions here as uh, result 10 by 2 i here put it except zero equation this succeeded so it will be no division by 0, so I have rooted this for division succeeded, that is the message. All this code uh, snippets is available in this uh, Google code drive, Google drive. It is the finally block example here, more details I have told you, this is the, I have told this is always executed, do slides printed twice because I have called this function twice. So it would be twice it would be printed. This is always for the final block. You can catch a not only single exception, you can have a multiple exceptions uh, in a one except clause. So, you have to write one have to write 
the various exceptions here that you can handle it here or can handle it here. Nested exception can, uh, nested exceptions can handle and within except you can also raise an exception. Another thing is exception like a, you can raise the exception uh, by this exception not always by hardware like network CPU, it can be by software also. So, this is raising the exception and uh, the, the contribution by 0 and whenever it divide by 0, it comes it here, I re-raising with a value error. So, this is way you can, one can debug the programs and all these things. So, exception can be nested. This is uh, how, how can, can you create a reason ex custom exception in Python. Uh, remember the ex uh, this is the base class, exception class and uh, I am, uh, we are creating one more class and uh, from the base class. In Java it is uh, extended as, but here it is within bracket is the uh, base class and this is our uh, preferred, our written class. And this is a constructor, underscore, underscore, unit, underscore, underscore, and here it is the message. So, it raised my custom error, this is a custom error message, and this will, this message will come. If we, if we run the code, this message will come. So, we can create a, uh, our own exception. This is, uh, I have created in the last program, the, from this class. These are all defined in Python. One more class is base exception. So, all classes are pre-written there in Python. So, you can always extend classes from exception. You can also extend class base exception also. These are the, some of the examples of the exception classes. There are many exception classes. Uh, remember that in C, we do not have exceptions because C runs on the, not on virtual machines. And uh, that is the reason we make it a ha habit, the, whenever it deserves 0, return 0 is ok and return 1 means uh, something different, return 2 means something different, return 3 means something. So, in C, we handle the exception by return 0, return 1, return 2, return 3 comment, but there is return 0 is well documented uh, that it is ok, but for all others, we have to define our what does it mean by 1, 2, 3 and all, but in Python, Java, these are all being already named. So, you do not have to, your code will be much shorter because all the different type of possible errors, runtime errors, and all kinds of errors, it is already defined in Python and in Java and you can also extend for this. Thank you for this.